told you this was gonna happen. Okay, we're live. Great start. Yep. What's up, everybody? Thank you so much for joining tonight. My name is LeVar Kemp Ramsey, as some of you may know me. I'm the editor in chief of Snub Magazine, and I'm super excited tonight to you three alphas virtual album release. We have Corbin, Mr. West, and T3. How are you guys doing tonight? How you doing? Doing well. Good. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Super excited to have you guys and be moderating this special event. Corbin, Mr. West, and T3, how are you? Uh -huh. We have a little echo. <laughs> All right, so tell me how the group um, started off. We can either go with it. Um, Corbin, T3, Mr. West, any of you guys can answer these questions. I think uh, we should let Wes answer that. Yeah, so I'll take the first question. So um, how the group started, I kind of kidnapped them. Um, I tricked them into coming to visit me in DC for a weekend and we just ended up at the studio. Um, prior to the group, both Corbin and T3 um, did me the great fortune of working on uh, some of my solo projects. So hearing us all sing in duos, I thought like we would sound great as a trio. Um, so we just kind of tried it out. We tried it out with some covers. Uh, we just tried it out with some harmonies. There were a lot of uh, car karaoke events. Uh, and once we heard us, we were like, yeah, this is it. So here we are uh, a year and a half, almost two years later. And how important was it for you to bring this together? How, how, was this already a vision that was already planned in your head or it was just something as you were doing your album when you heard the vocals that you automatically knew that you wanted to make this come apart? Yeah, it definitely wasn't something that I had planned on doing. Uh, but as you said, just hearing us work um, on our duets, I thought that we would all sound great together. Um, and I, I think it worked out great. Uh, I was really nervous about being in a group. Uh, a great uh, missionary once said that singing background is a trap. So uh, <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I want to do this. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work out. Different personality, different voices, things like that. But it definitely has worked out in our favor. Definitely. Um, Corbin T3, do you have anything you want to say? Do you want to say how you felt when he, he brought this to your attention that he wanted you guys to be a part of this group. As he said, it was a trap. So um, you guys fell <laughs> into it and the trap worked, so. <laughs> uh, I actually yeah. can't for that. I go try, you can go T3. Oh, okay, my bad. So <laughs> yeah, no, to, it was definitely a trap because I had no idea. Um, but I thought we were just hanging out, you know. <clears throat> you know, I, I had an excuse to go to DC um and then uh when Corbin was there as well too it was just it was just cool like when he was like okay we're about to record I was like what <laughs> and the next thing you knew we were a group so it was it was pretty cool like I, 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 it's just one of those things where it was a surprise and the surprise turned out to be really nice I agree <clears throat> I realized when he said um please don't go I was like why are we singing this <laughs> Cause at first it was like, um, Mary, did you know? I was like, okay, cool, a little Christmas song. That's gonna be it. Then we got Please Don't Go and some other stuff. I was like, what is going on? Like, why are we singing so many songs? Right. And here we are. <laughs> Crazy. So <laughs> album dropped yesterday. Um, congratulations on that. <laughs> um, are you guys feeling you. that your and I see um, recently that it's going up the charts slowly. Um, but it's going up. So that's super exciting. So seeing that, um, how are you guys feeling about it? Uh, I am feeling relieved. Uh, we were on the, on the phone Monday night. It was like 9 30, 10 o'clock my time. And I was in like mid panic attack. <laughs> uh, cause I just get super nervous about releasing music. Um, I was telling somebody yesterday that 
when it comes to music, this is one of the most subjective forms of art and everybody hears things differently. Everybody feels music differently. Everybody experiences music differently. Um, so I am really, really happy to see the response that we've been getting from the album uh, to wake up this morning and see that we were on both the Amazon and the iTunes charts was, you know, amazing. Um, so I am very happy with the result. So I was a little opposite of Wes. I was like super excited and ready. And I'm like, Wes, come on, it's coming out. Let's go. Let's go. Like, what are you doing? And I, I was saying, Wes, how's your day going? And he's like, I feel like this is a trick question. And I said, it should be great. Our album just came out. What are you talking about? Um, but as he stated as well, like yeah. just um, the reception that we've gotten from everyone um, that say they like it. I mean, and that's really good. We worked hard on it. Um, we wanted to make sure that it was just that perfect blend of voices. And at the end of the day, we wanted to bring R&B back. I mean, this is something that created most of, of, of the, the children now, the 90s children, but per se, um, you know, so we want to make sure that we have something to kind of add to the table. Corbin, you have anything you want <laughs> to add to it? <laughs> I've been trying to catch up on the live so I can actually watch it, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the next one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, off the album, um, of course, like what well, you guys brought up that um, the time and effort that you guys have put into the album, how you guys felt about the album, um, being that nature, what is one of your favorite songs off the album? Mark, you go first. Mm, that's tough. I don't know. I really like our features. I just love both of those songs. I Love You is really nice. I, I think I'll go with I Love You right now. It'll change next week probably, but I Love You is it right now. <laughs> Second that, I Love You is my favorite. Well, tease a little bias to I Love You, but okay. Uh, my favorites on the album have not changed. They have been the same two songs since we um, heard the final mix of the album and, and they have been uh, Queen for Life. I absolutely love that song. And it's uh, kind of funny because when we were writing and rehearsing and practicing that song, I kept saying to myself, I don't know how this is gonna sound. Uh, this is just, it's, it's different for me as an artist. Uh, so I kept thinking like, all right, I'm gonna go in here and give it my best effort, but I don't know how this mix gonna sound. Um, but to hear it, hear the final version, I absolutely love it. Um, and then my second favorite song is um, uh, T's Interlude, Pure in Heart. I love it, I love it. I am looking forward to performing that song live and messing up his backgrounds. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you guys, you guys really put a, a great amount of work into it. I, I've heard it as well. Um, I think I like Still the One. I think that's still, like, I played on my thing when I was introducing you guys on the thing. As you can see, I kept it going with that one. Um, right. that was, <laughs> I just kept it going. Uh, so yeah. if you have enough, you know now. Um, <laughs> being, um, we were talking about your favorite songs. What's a song that you weren't sure at first when you heard it? Um, many times when artists or, or groups come together, they have to pick their single that's going to drop and, and or what's this feature going to be? What one was the one you're like, you know what? I'm not sure if that's the one I want we want to put out. That would be Queen for Life for me. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I've already said Queen for Life, but another song that I wasn't quite sure about was I Hate You, uh, just because, you know, <clears throat> I hate you. How is that gonna come across? Uh, we're an R&B group and we're singing about hate. Um, and um, we, um, we recorded our parts first and we were still searching for a feature. I really wanted to have a female feature on this song. Uh, Marche worked out perfectly. So shout out to her. Absolutely. Uh, 
but prior to her getting on this song, it was like an empty space. And I was like, okay, yeah, this one, this one, I gonna make the cut. Uh, but a lot of people have responded very positively to I Hate You, which is kind of funny to me. Uh, but I think that for a lot of people, um, you've been in that predicament, that emotional state of it's been a bad breakup. And you know where right now I hate you and I don't want to be around you. I don't want to see your name. Uh, it may not, it, you're, I may have resaved your name on my phone that's do not answer. Uh, I have to unfollow you on social media. It's all those things. And then you end up seeing this person out and you're like, oh, I hate you. So uh, it's, it's very funny to me how positively people have responded to that. Cause I guess we've all been in that situation before. It was still the one for me. And I will say, we did tone it down. Now, when I say we, I, think I, I toned <laughs> it down because I really wanted the crazy stuff in that song. <laughs> so that is, he's, he's right. That's a behind the scenes story that we'll uh, get into full depth later. But uh, no, that'll probably have to be like when y'all do like a documentary, when they put like yes. one camera in you and you talk about it. <laughs> and you talk about, you know, what was that crazy song that somebody wrote in? It'll be I Hate You because he can have a very um, violent writing style. Yeah, absolutely. Are you going towards, are you going towards like how Khalees was when she wrote her I Hate You so much right now? Just right, the damaging things? And, yes, okay. it, yeah. was, it was all <laughs> the things. <laughs> and we kept saying, like, no, we, we got we to gotta kind of tone this down because uh, you and here going crazy. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. uh, Corbin, you said still the one. Yes. That's the one you said. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, please explain. <laughs> uh, it was just a lot going on in that song with the background. So I just wasn't sure about it. <clears throat> and our recording during the pandemic was very strange. Sometimes all three of us, sometimes just one of us yeah. in the studio by ourselves, or two of us, Mr. West and myself, will meet a lot. But we didn't see T3 for a while at one period of time. So it was just very strange. And I didn't know how it was going to play out at all. <laughs> so, yeah. but still and the that one. Kind of me, that kind of leads me to my next question. I'm discussing, you guys are in three different locations. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of people don't that... know that. It's funny. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are in three, three different locations. Um, the writing um writing the music um coming about with the music and then like you were saying um recording the music how did you guys make it happen and of course in march we were hit with this great blessing of this pandemic um and, and we're here today on it on zoom when we could have been face to face doing a whole event yeah. so how did that how did that work out for you guys um just working through this whole situation let's just say it was boot camp it was Lex's boot camp because he, he literally would, you know, get us a beat and he would say, you need to have lyrics to this by next Tuesday. And then if we didn't have anything by next Tuesday, you were in trouble. Most of the time that was Mike, but Absolutely it was not. just one of those things <clears throat> that Absolutely every not. week he would check with us to make sure that we had that song written and ready to go. So... Yeah, working uh, under West is, is brutal, but it comes out, you know, to a beautiful thing. <laughs> I just want to say I feel so very West, attacked well, right West now. Was doing, uh, um, West was doing artist management at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel very attacked right now. Um, <laughs> but I will admit I am the bossy alpha uh, oxymoron. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> I just wanted to make sure we stayed on schedule. Uh, but when the pandemic hit us in March, it absolutely, it hit us hard um, because we did have a schedule. We had a production schedule. We had a communications plan. We had all these things that we had kind of laid out. And then like the rest of the world, we were thrown for a loop in March. Um, so the album was pushed back. Singles were pushed back. Everything was pushed back. Um, and for the people who know me personally, everybody knows I am a planner. So um, I had to have a lot of personal conversations with myself 
uh, about, you know, this is out of your control. This is out of anybody's control. So you guys just kind of roll with the punches. Uh, but prior to that, we spent a lot of time on FaceTime. Um, we did a lot of calls, a lot of late night calls. Uh, and we would meet up as much as possible. And we would have very productive 48 to 72 hours. And we would be knocking out songs. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is uh, we were recording the album and recording covers at the same time. So we were splitting mm-hmm. our time between that. We were doing photo shoots. We were doing video shoots. We were Then we started doing press. And it, it was a lot going on. But uh, I guess the artist management side of me is that I loved it. I love the work. Um, so, you know, like Trey said, it worked out. Got you. Um, and I, th- I think that's something um, to also talk about you guys is um, passion and ment- mentality about this whole album because it speaks volume because I know a lot of artists um, that I've talked to, um, a lot of them just went on, no lie, they went on hiatus basically because they were like, oh, we're going to be back soon. And then they started seeing, oh, no, we're not coming back. Wait a minute, what's going on? Oh, let me go in the studio. Oh, let me. And it just started trailing. But you guys already set a path for it already so it played out for you guys to be successful and to be doing this right now so congratulations to you guys on that part <laughs> thank you uh thank but you. you but you're right we had a whole <clears throat> huge album release in person concert intimate one night only in dc event planned and here we are on zoom <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention that we had other, I guess you would say, gigs as well, too, that people were trying to get us to come and perform at, but it was one of those, as we mentioned before, hey, we don't all live in the same city, so (laughs) (laughs) So it's it's been one, we've had to figure it out. Yeah, definitely. So, Corey, I'm going to go to you first. Um, I have some questions. I'm going to ask you uh, <laughs> <so> tell me <laughs> so uh tell me about your, your background as far as music goes um I know each person has their own background in music so how did you start off um singing what, what is your background in singing um so I grew up my mom's side very musical family um dad's side a couple of them can sing as well but mom's side is very heavy there's a whole like quartet group and everything like <laughs> the Racy Brothers. Shout out to Bobby Racy. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna kill me for that, baby. <laughs> but uh, no, no, no. So my family <laughs> grew up in a uh, singing family, um, church guy. So always in the church choir. But I never wanted to solo, do lead, anything like that. Um, get to college, got into this choir called Inspire. <clears throat> Excuse me been a long day my voice is shot but um got in this choir and inspired dr jones really knocked me out my shell basically i remember i had a concert and my parents were in the audience and i saw my mom grab me like he about to lead a song (laughs) like i ain't never heard him sing live like what's going on and it was oh happy day (laughs) and so um after that i just started singing got in a quartet group with my sister cousins and then got to a band in Fayetteville Funk Factory and after that just kept going and going so <laughs> there you here are, we are. <laughs> right. yeah so as far as um so you came from a music a music background has there been any moment for you where you've been like you know what I'm good on the music thing. I want to venture off and, and, and do some, something else beside that. Or are you, you, you feel like you're going to stay in the music room? Um, if I'm being honest, music is, mm, I mean, I really, I'm just getting to the point where I'm taking myself serious enough. Um, a lot of my friends are like, hey, you know, celebrate this, live in this moment, enjoy it, congratulations. And meanwhile, I'm just at work trying to, you know, knock out all these swabs and look at these paths like it's just my mind has just been all over the place and so honestly just to like last night I was up until like midnight just listening to it and I was like this is actually good like this is (laughs) this could be something nice so I'm growing through this this is very new for me 
but it's been very cool. I'm really enjoying it. Definitely, definitely. Well, make sure you celebrate it because <laughs> only one time that you get to drop an album first time. Uh, That's true. That's very in true. this group name, there's no turning back on it. And for you guys to be making it through a pandemic is num like that. That's uh, like I said, it, it speaks a lot of volume. Um, so Wes, I'm gonna let you. Okay, so um, everybody, we're gonna get ready for the first performance of the night. But you guys thought we weren't gonna do performances. Uh, so <laughs> everybody, get ready. Uh, put your virtual hands together as we bring um, Missing You from our baby alpha, uh, Corbin. And uh, here we go. <clears throat> Adrian, is my mic mute? Adrian, can you hear me? Let's try that again. I can't hear anything. <laughs> can you hear it now, Corbin? Yes, I can. Okay. All right. Let's yeah. try this again. <clears throat> okay. Okay. you guys so now what we're going to do <laughs> we're going to um we're going to switch it up a little we're going to uh play a game real quick um which is which alpha is it um so i'm gonna ask you guys a couple of questions and you're gonna you guys have your handy dandy signs <laughs> all right um and, and you guys raise it up to the, whoever this uh whoever question this applies to okay all right so the first question is who is always late easy easy <laughs> those are lies easy <laughs> I was late once today. That's it. He was late today. <laughs> Until it gets one. Until it gets one. Okay. He was the reason we were late. <laughs> it was my context. <clears throat> okay, so let, let's flip the question. Which person <laughs> will come early or as usual early? I'm not voting. <laughs> just through us for sure are you, are you gonna say your name anyway <laughs> look i like to be timely i like things to you know happen in order 
So yeah, I won't apologize for that. Okay, got you. All right, so who sleeps the most? Mm. Corbin. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is crazy. <laughs> It's definitely Corbin, too- do, Corbin, do you feel you're being attacked right now? Absolutely. You- and I knew this was going to happen, so <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're Lime brothers, and this happened at the time. So. Oh, got you. I, there you I, I go. Mm-hmm. Got you. <laughs> All right. So, who is the party animal? I'm going to go with Mr. West because he always has a plan. He always has the plan, absolutely. But I'm always down, though. Right, right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm down to kick it. Let's go for it. Okay. <laughs> so, who is the most bossiest? I think Should we guys- just name this Mr. West? <laughs> <laughs> West, Mr. What? <laughs> Look, I can't vote for myself. Come on, now. That is crazy. Um. Out of the group, who is the nicest? Corbin, for sure. Absolutely. He's probably one of the nicest people I've met. Absolutely. No question about it. Oh, that's nice. That was I think, nice. Yeah. I think they're trying to give back to you because of the fact that they've been throwing up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that almost that got me. The devil thought he had me. Okay, who, take, who takes the longest in getting ready? Oh, Ooh. come on. Ooh, we. Please, please Ooh, do not. We. Oh, <laughs> what? I just couldn't vote for myself, but I know it's me. <laughs> it's definitely, it's definitely. <laughs> All, right. All right, who, well, we kind of said it already, but who would be the Beyonce of the group? Ooh. Ooh. That's oh. very easy. Oh. That's super easy. <laughs> no. <laughs> D3, can you put up your signs? Because these cutouts that you have. <laughs> Mr. West can you, city you explain, because... can you explain each one? Because they all have yes. different cuts. I'm sorry. They... <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Mr. West has a city because he's the mayor. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. And Corbin... Corbin just his name is highlighted because he likes to be the center of attention. I'm just T3 because I like to be everywhere and this is like the racing flag. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um I'm going to throw some wild ones wild cards at you guys on this one. Um who would you say is the would have been the most studious? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Wait, you just got now you gonna vote for yourself? Wait. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Um which one of you let's think. Which one of you in a concert do you think would call out? Like have some type of excuse to be like I can't do it, I can't make it. Who 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 would you think would do it? Corbin. <laughs> he's just trying to he's just yeah. trying to use mine, but it's him all. Know what people do? <laughs> Can y'all see mine? Because this is the truth. Um, you know and then one do? for you guys. Which one crazy. of you? When you guys, because we're going to speak it to an existence, Hello. when you guys win a Grammy, who is going to give the longest speech and the music is going to have to start playing? Mr. West. I, I'd like to plead the fifth. <laughs> Man, Corby, you, uh, uh, you got to break yeah, it. You got to break it. You gonna be oh! <laughs> I knew you was. You just wanted to pull that. <laughs> just because. Just because. after he finished, I would have kept talking. So that's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All 
All right, T3, I'm going to ask you some questions. We're going to jump right um, to you. So I'm, I'm going to start off with um, the same kind of questions. Um, so give us your background as far as um, music goes. How did you come into the game um, with music? Okay. Um, so my background uh, is definitely uh, born and raised in the church. So um, uh, the background kind of starts at uh, singing with family because our my family sings a whole lot we've got a, a group with my sisters my brother my nieces my nephews um uh all my aunts uncles sang and then you know around the age i guess of 10 11 i started leading songs at church um and at my church we sing acapella so it was one of those things where you wouldn't know if that person could sing or not because <laughs> because you definitely got to blend those voices um so yeah that's kind of how i got started in it um uh, sang in, in junior high school sang uh, in high school did a couple of musicals and then i also was a part of the inspirational singers group that mike was a part of um a few years prior got you and um seeing how you cut out those uh those cards you just had um, you are the only one in the group that has a, a family, correct? As far as you're married with, with kids, correct? Oh, I love that so transition, how, 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 how I cut out. I like that. Yeah, I cut, I cut, cut out, you cut out. Know, <laughs> got married to my, to my lovely wife, uh, Ryan. And um, yes, I have a son who's eight months old. He is the fourth. and His name is Quad. Okay. And how, how being in this industry, um, how do you separate those two um, as far as um, having a family and then of course, mm -hmm. studio times and, oh, I gotta do this, oh, I gotta do that. How do you manage to keep your, number one, your sanity? Um, because this industry is not for yeah. the week. Um, but then you have also a family and now you, you brought an, um, another baby into this world. So how do you, how do you balance it? I mean, the biggest thing is making sure you have a strong partner. And that's what I definitely have. Um, as you stated before, studio time, everything has to kind of, you know, have its place on, I would say, the refrigerator to know kind of what the schedule is. Because uh, my wife is actually still in school. Um, she'll be uh, an orthodontist pretty soon. Um, so we, we have a pretty jam-packed schedule and it's just the two of us um, and now three. So um, it's just making sure that we communicate. Adrian. Everybody always talks about how important communication is, but Adrian. it's really important. Can you share the live and tag me in it? Share the live. And tag me in it. All right, so Wes, I'm gonna let you jump into um, T3's song, go ahead, Andrew. I believe that's uh, uh, Corbin. Oh, is Corbin. <clears throat> I mean, Corbin, excuse me. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Corbin, my bad. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But introducing Mr. Smooth, Mr. Mr. Clean. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> no, I do love this song. It's my favorite song <laughs> on the track. My boy T3, pure and heart. I think he cut out. Oh, Trey? Think he's coming oh, back. There you go. What happened? I don't know. It just said I froze. So sorry about the technology, you all. <laughs> It All right. Will let's... not be a versus. Just know that. Like we <laughs> that was shady. I love it. All right, here we go. <clears throat> I 
Every time I leave you, I need you. Even in my dreams, I see you. No matter where I go, I'm tempted to follow my feelings back to the one who stole them. I just want to kiss them and hold them. It never goes away, I'm told. So let's just grow old together, purer in heart. It's where love starts, purer in heart. The only words I'll say is I want you today. And forever. <laughs> good, good, good. Thank you, T3. Mike, I love your unmuted laugh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm laughing because I was, I tried to mute to tell. Adrian, my friend, to you share. Haven't, you haven't been muted the whole time. I know, and everybody keeps texting me, talking about something. I'm dying that you're yelling, Adrian. I, I had no clue. <laughs> I'm sorry. People keep texting me to share it, and I couldn't share it from, it kept making me share it from three alphas page, and they wouldn't let me do it. So <laughs> I was trying to fix it, and I thought I muted it, and everyone's like, I'm dying at Adrian. <laughs> I wasn't laughing at you, T3. That's my favorite song. I'm being your feelings. Either you're on me. Thank you. Best. Thank you. <laughs> Probably best. All right. So we're going to go actually, um, speaking of social media, I mean, Corbin's been carrying the conversation. He somehow knows how to transition it somehow. We're just going to go straight to social media right now <laughs> and get some questions. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's go to it. Um, so one of the first questions I think some of you guys have answered it already, um, but Mr. West didn't answer this question. So I'm going to ask the question still. Um, how did everyone get their start in music? I know T3 and Corbin both said in, in the church, basically, it was like where it all began. Their family had musical backgrounds as well. Um, Mr. West, do you have the same background as that or do you have a different a curveball. Uh, I have a curveball. I did not get my start, of course. I did not get my start in the church. Uh, I got my start in uh, choral music, actually. Uh, I had the uh, fortune of going to a performing arts um, high school. And um, that's kind of where I, I, right. That's kind of where I honed my skills. Um, and then, um, I don't know if we said this earlier, but if you guys hadn't picked up on it, we all met at the University of Arkansas, shout out to the Razorbacks. Um, mm -hmm. And we were all in inspirational singers together. And um, so that's where I got my like singing background, but I have some other musical backgrounds and we'll get to that later. Got you. Um, Let's go to what do you want people to know about this album? Is that a question for Mr. West? <laughs> As a matter of fact, it could be a question for you, T3. Since you asked the question, you can get the question. Oh, I'm all for it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> can you repeat it? <laughs> Absolutely. The question was, you know, I should have a chalkboard behind me and start underlying words with it. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want people to know about this album? Um, I think that we would all agree that we want them to know that dysfunction is the st are the stages of most relationships. Um, we would hope that you didn't have to go through all those stages, um, but we want to make sure that you know everyone can stay optimistic, and there might be a chance that you can push through this thing and stay together. Um, but you are going to have some bumps in the road. So if you listen closely and you pay attention to kind of the arrangement um, of all of our songs, it's literally taking you through, you know, a whirlwind of a relationship. And I want to piggyback off of that. 
we also want people to know that at the end of the day, we sing. We, we do. We sing, we harmonize uh, in the words of uh, Kelly Rowland. It's great to be in a group where everybody can sing lead. Uh, Amen. So at the end of the day, uh, we sing. Or as someone said on an interview, we sang. Corbin, do you have something? <laughs> uh, <laughs> just the amount of work we put into this. Um, so I was working the entire time during the pandemic. So my schedule was crazy. And these guys were great with me. It was times I'm like, hey, I'm just tired. I need 30 minutes. And but we were pushing through it. It was a lot of work though. It was it was crazy. <laughs> but it was it was a good time. Got you. So there's a lot of groups that are out there in, in, in the music world. Um, what groups or artists would you guys say that you guys have a similar sound to? Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna be very honest. I don't feel like there there are a lot of male R&B groups out right now. Uh, I think that there there was a um, a void in this lane that uh, we are looking to fill. Uh, but I do tell people all the time that I feel like we're like a modern day version of uh, TGT, Tyrese Genuine and Tank. Um, I just, I like their sound. I like their blend. Uh, they all sing lead as well. They, um, since they all used to be solo artists, they, you know, they can carry their own. So uh, I would, I would say we're, we're, we're like a TGT. Anybody else? Um, I've actually had someone tell me that we sound like an after seven. Oh. And I started listening to after seven a little more and that's kind of fun. So I don't know, gotcha. I can go with that. <clears throat> Do you have anything you want to add? You look like you. No, I think we just sound like us. Hello, come on. <laughs> we sound like us. Gotcha. I agree with that. We sound like us. That's what we're going <laughs> with. We, we sound like us. <laughs> I could agree with that. <laughs> Definitely. So in each in, in every group, um, everybody brings something um to the group. Um, what would you say um each one of you brings to this group? Who going first? Mr. We can go with you. We're gonna do that. Oh, you're gonna go with Mr. West. <laughs> Go ahead, Corbin. You spoke up first. <laughs> <laughs> Can you repeat the question? Absolutely. <laughs> Which one? Everybody brings something to the group. Um, what would you say that you bring to, to this group? Um, um, first of all, I bring the youth. I'm the youngest. I bring the fun. <laughs> Uh, I think I bring. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a tough question. Were you? That's a tough. You're question. sitting on the back of the bus. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh God. <laughs> no, I think I bring. I just say fun. I'm fun, even in the studio. Like I'll clown more than they will. You know, like, have a little fun. Let's be fun. Let's try this. Let's just take a nap. <laughs> Let's have fun. <laughs> I'm going to be fun. I agree with, I'm going to say I'll bring fun. Let's take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. Uh, I think I bring balance because he's right. Cor Corbin is right. It's either you're going to have a whole lot of fun or with Mr. West, you're gonna work a whole lot. <laughs> with me, I'm just like, no, 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 like we gotta get here, okay? Cause I'm not trying to do all that. And, and I do wanna take that nap before we go out tonight. Like we're not just about to go straight to that going out. So 
Yeah, I, I would say I just bring the balance. <laughs> These people stay asleep. <laughs> um, what do I bring to the group? Um, I'll say that I bring, um, I feel like I bring a lot of the behind the scenes experience um, with like production and management and uh, those mm -hmm. things, those things. Uh, I'll also say that I feel like Corbin, uh, he does bring the fun. Um, he does keep our sound uh, youthful. I will begrudgingly agree with that. Um, and uh, T is definitely the dad of the group. Absolutely. <laughs> so as far as who would you say is the most creative out of the group? You know, I have to say we bounce off each other very well. Are you looking for some T? <laughs> T three was looking around and then like, we balance each other out, and then T three like I'm it's be me. nice. It's me. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be nice. <laughs> uh, I think we all are, are creative in our own ways. I agree with that. Uh, as we've said, um, T has a very creative writing style. Um. And uh, Corbin is, uh, he, he is an, an extremely talented uh, natural vocalist. Uh, so that's always really great to have. Um, and then I think that I kind of help bring the production value. Um, and you, you, you need somebody in the group that's gonna push y'all and that's me. Got you. Um, so since we're, we're in a, yeah, man. Um, all right, do you guys plan on having live shows, concerts in the future? Are you guys looking at rerouting it another way? Um, what's the, the future looking like for Three Alphas? I feel like I have PTSD from the first live right. show. Right. <laughs> uh, what Wait, both... did you just say your future is bright? Is that what you just said? Yeah. <laughs> See that, that, right. that. The cutouts, the cutouts, right? <laughs> what most people don't know is that we actually had a mini tour plan for the summer. Um, that didn't work out, obviously. So, um, and we actually had some things that we were trying to put into the fire for the beginning of 2021. But as uh, most of us know, the numbers are going up. So we, at this point, are just gonna have to play it by ear. Uh, we're gonna do as much as we can virtually. Um, for those of you who follow us on social media, you know that we have been living on the Voicey app uh, just to keep our voices out there, keep our sound <laughs> out there, keep our faces out there for people. Um, and then we have, a couple, we have a couple of other things planned. We have music videos, we have live recording videos. We, uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep the music coming, and as soon as we can get to you guys face to face, we are absolutely gonna be there. Definitely, and being that we're talking about albums and your new album coming out, is there any collaborations that maybe each one of you is there someone that in mind that, and I'm let each one of you answer this. Um, someone that you want to collaborate with, you want to work with you guys in the future. I'm gonna go out and say Drake. And I don't know how that's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What well, what kind of vibe would you give as far as if you had Drake on the album? Is there, is there any particular song you would say that would resemble like something you could think of that possibly the vibe you would want it to have? Not off the top of my head, but I just feel like he's he's got a he's a creative genius, and I feel like you know if we could kind of mix our style with his style, that it, it's like a it's a win win. Got you. Okay, 
Um, Corbin, who would you want to uh, collaborate with the group? Mm. I don't know. I would definitely like to do something with my boy Rampage Wood. That would be nice. Be nice. Okay. So it, would there be like a certain style you would want to go with it or you just want that collaboration to happen? Oh, uh, I don't know. You know, I would like to, the Freaky Freaky vibe was fun. Uh, shout out to Ron Bisco for that. It was a fun track. So going to another rapper vibe. So maybe something like Matrimony, Wale, Usher. It will be fun to redo something like that. Stand in love. That'd be fun. Who knows? <laughs> True. Okay, Mr. West. Uh, dream collaborations. So I'm going to go... Um, I guess kind of opposite ends of the spectrum. So something a little more fun, um, super radio ready. Uh, I would love, love, love for us to work with Chris Brown. Um, I could see us doing something um, along like his uh, uh, privacy, that type of lane. I'm sorry, uh, they are just I, they I, are or dance battle just now. I don't know if oh. you saw that. They did on versus Corbin T3 just had a dance battle. Oh. Corbin. <laughs> I'm so used to this from them. I see nothing. Uh, but yeah, I would love to, to collaborate with Chris Brown kind of along the privacy lane. I feel like um, vocally we will all sound amazing together. Um, and his production value is crazy high uh, and crazy expensive. Um, and the opposite end, more along the ballot type of lane. Uh, they're probably gonna look at me crazy when I say this, but I would love for us to work with Jennifer Hudson. Um, straight, oh, yeah. <laughs> straight, <laughs> straight power vocals, uh, straight crazy harmonies, all types of key changes and modulations and. Just count me out. All the things I know Corbin doesn't like doing. <laughs> <clears throat> count me out. <laughs> Got you. So uh, we're going to jump since I've already talked to T3. I talked to Corbin. Of course, I'm going to talk to you, Mr. West. Um, your background, you've already explained your background. Um, as far as this music world goes, what are some challenges um, you face being an artist um, and then coming into a group? Um, so we've kind of uh, <clears throat> made mention earlier that prior to the group, I was a solo artist. Um, and uh, there are a lot of, you can be jaded when you've had those type of experiences. I had a uh, not so great experience with my former record label uh, so coming into the group, I was a little apprehensive, um, just because, you know, I'm used to being the one mind, one voice type of person. And, uh, I felt like I knew what the Mr. West sound was, but I didn't know what the three alpha sound would be. Um, so it was, it was almost, you said it earlier, it was almost like starting over, like starting from scratch. Um, and figuring it out and building it. But uh, there was a lot of fun in that finding it out process. And at what point, um, at what point in your career did you just say, you know what? Um, Fuck it. Don't put this, this solo to the side. <laughs> and put it to this, this other rim. Um, well, at what point was like, you know what, let's just take that leap. Um... Because you're joining two other powerhouses and voices as well. So you you deciding that, yeah, I'm going to put myself basically on a line kind of situation and say, you know what, let's bring these two other powerhouse voices together. We all sing lead. Let's go for it. What, what was that breaking point for you? Uh, what a lot of people don't know, and I don't even know if they know, is prior to joining the group, I had kind of like fallen out of love with music. Um, so 
being able to work with them, like it really like reignited my passion for music. So um, I wouldn't necessarily say there was like a breaking point, but there was definitely a point of like, this is fun again and it's fun with them. So, you know what, let's, let's take that leap and see what happens. Definitely. And that's a, that's a good thing that your passion came back and I, you two uh, brought the, the fire and passion back into him and having fun um, like Corbin has brought to the group. Because he's, so, <laughs> he's so young. Because he's so young. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you said it. Mute yourself. Mute yourself. I try several times. I don't think Corbin. I don't think Corbin has the mute button. We don't hear it. I just try. It's so sad. <laughs> no, those young folks, they don't know how to work that technology. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> God. All right. Um, T three. You want to go ahead and um, introduce Mister Wilson? I hate so, y'all. Oh. Uh, I feel like this is the moment we've been waiting for. Our fearless leader. Is it? Uh, <laughs> our drill shark sergeant. Okay. Now. Um, <laughs> man that gets in between our sleep. Uh, you're going to get a taste of Mr. Wes's You Can. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> our drill sergeant. Okay. Sorry, technical difficulties. All right, let's try this again. Me and the Zoom are not getting along today. Training this sign. <laughs> you you want to do it? <laughs> All right. 
right, all right. Oh, trying to do a we all three did y'all uh Beyonce. Y'all sing y'all lead in each part. So <laughs> thank you, thank thank you for blessing the platform like that. Um so now we're gonna go to um questions from our he did it, he left the show. Break. <laughs> Still here. <laughs> oh god, is he asleep? He had to take a nap real quick. So he'll be back. <laughs> I was looking for my chapstick. No. <laughs> and they call me the Beyonce of the group. Do y'all see this? Facebook. My lips are just dry. Do y'all see this? <laughs> oh. um, I'm going to try. <laughs> uh, okay. Are y'all reading the uh, comments, though? Nope. I'm trying to actually see it on my end. So, because I want to see. There's any I questions? Think if you agree with the Jasmine Sullivan comment? That would be really cool. Jasmine so Sullivan would be very there. cool, absolutely. And uh, I like the more twerking songs too. That'd be kind of cool too. Shout out to Pooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did T say he want more twerking songs? <laughs> then, oh, hey four, hey quiet. <laughs> That's our fourth member. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go to. Um, Questions from the virtual audience. I, for some reason, mine is not coming up on my end. Let Corbin ask him. He's been watching it anyway. Yeah, Corbin, can you can you throw the questions out there? Because you've been making sure IT over there has been working, and you have the whole unmute <laughs> conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> mute Corbin. Right. <laughs> Hashtag yeah, sure. Corbin. <laughs> I was just trying to get everybody here and happy. That's it. <laughs> Do you see any virtual questions out there? Uh, let me look. Will there be a video for Freaky Freaky? I've had yeah. some ideas. <laughs> what you're not going to do is lie on Beyonce's internet <laughs> like that. <laughs> What you're not going to do is lie on Barack Obama's internet like that. He's lying <laughs> to y'all. He has some ideas. Okay. Let's hear him. That would be fun. <laughs> look, look, I would do like Wendy be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. Go ahead. <laughs> hmm. If there were, so our video is coming. Let's put it, let's put that, let's ask that question. So that was a great segue uh, because our first music video to our third single, Better Day, is dropping in seven days. A week from today, the video will be dropping. Um, it will be on our YouTube channel. So if you don't already follow us or are subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go do that. Uh, but yeah, we shot a video a little over a month or so ago. We um, traveled far super super far <laughs> uh was, to, it cold? was it cold it, it was it was very far to uh portland where where t uh currently resides and we were able to shoot the video um the video looks amazing i'm really excited for people to see it uh granted i almost died uh, but you know no pain no gain so uh, yeah, first video is dropping a week from today. And then we will have other videos coming out um, for, for the next couple of months. So uh, we've been working. Definitely. So um, what would be the next video that you think that you'll be shooting? Um, I don't want to give it away. Yeah. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to give it away, but uh, let's just say this video is going to be very uh, festive. That's the word I'll use. Okay. I, like the poll. I like to poll everybody, too. What what videos do you all want to see? I did see Freaky Freaky. <laughs> I saw somebody kind of discuss. I think you guys are going to be making a video to Freaky Freaky because T3 keeps on bringing up this Freaky Freaky. So <laughs> it looks like you guys, he's going to make you guys shoot this video. <laughs> And Rara, I don't know how those Anaconda vibes are going to work with Ricky, <laughs> but maybe you could be our creative genius on that one. Okay. 
I'm glad I can't see these. Okay. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> well, T three. Do you see any other questions besides the freaky, freaky ones? Can is there any? Because I can't see them, unfortunately, on my end. I don't know there, why. Is there anything else out there other than the freaky, freaky? <laughs> besides freaky, freaky. Mr. 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 Racy Jr. wants to know if uh, anybody's thinking of doing any solo projects. And I know we always talk about that person that's that's down there, around there. Um, but I don't know. Corbin, is anybody thinking of any solo projects? I'm not thinking of anything. <laughs> well, there you go, America. He said it. He's with the group. <laughs> <laughs> unless wait wait he said he was with the group unless he said Jennifer Hudson comes and does that collab oh, he's yeah. out. then he's out, <laughs> I'm out. absolutely because I'm not hollering with her not hollering <laughs> uh, nope I'm not doing it somebody um, said Faye didn't need a video Um, I could definitely see that yeah um, a two hour loop with rain in the background I'm down for that <laughs> oh Rain outside, very Ray J vibes. Not one wish. Right, one wish. <laughs> uh, we yeah, got a question. Like, who, who are our biggest inspirations or influences? Wes, who's yours? Um, I assume that's out there asking about musical inspirations. Uh, uh, I'll say that when it comes to a group, um, my biggest musical group inspiration is the Clark Sisters. Uh, I learned how to harmonize from the Clark Sisters. Um, I learned how to sing all the parts. Uh, shout out to us. We do sing all the parts. Um, how to be able to drop into it, do it acapella and things like that. So just thinking about a group, I think that... Um, they're definitely an inspiration. And if I would have to say myself personally, um, a musical inspiration, it would definitely be uh, Chris Brown and Drake. I love their work ethic. I love their production value. I love their sound. Um, mm -hmm. I love how they've been able to, uh, especially Chris Brown, reinvent himself because uh, he's been out for a while. Um, so th those would be my answers. No, Corbin, you're next. You're next. You're, you're next up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <you? laughs> inspiration. Um, I honestly get a lot of inspiration from my family. I know that's like the cliche answer, but my family really sings. So, um, like harmonies and stuff like that. Listen to beats and just playing off each other. Like my mom, every time we go home, my mom, like, y'all let's sing this. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> just like, Lord. <laughs> but they, that's my inspiration. I just singing with them. And the other, mm, I would probably say Tank mixed with a little Janae. I just like how they sing. I like how they make you feel. I like how their runs, riffs, things like that. So I would go with Tank mixed with Janae. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna use three questions that we usually do on my show to sit down. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you three questions real quick that we do. <laughs> it's not nothing. <laughs> Cause I saw your eyeballs pop out like wait 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 wait. <laughs> Fine. I don't I don't I'm not gonna throw no curveballs at y'all like that. Um, I guess what are because in the word snub and of course you guys are three alphas. Um, what are three words that would best describe each one of you and, and pick one of them and tell why? The best describe us individually or as a group? No, no, well, you can do it as a group since you guys are a group. Um, each person can give three different ones. Okay. Or you can do it, you as a person, um, best describe. Uh, I'll go first. So um, I'll do us as a group. Three words that describe us uh, would be talented, uh, determined, and uh, third word would be, um, I'll say unique. 
Um, and I'll go with that one. I feel like our sound, our sound is very unique um, because as I said earlier, there aren't like really any male R&B group, R&B groups out right now. Um, so that's already one thing. And then um, because we all come from very different musical backgrounds, we hear things differently. So when we're building songs, we are able to put those experiences into it. Uh, the two of them, they come from a church background and I come from a like classical music background. Uh, so when it comes to like layering and building backgrounds and, you know, arrangements and all those types of things, I definitely think uh, our sound is very unique. T3 Corbin, do you have any the three words? <laughs> supposed to say, what's one word? You gave us three? <laughs> <laughs> we, we just use your name. We're just going along with what, what your name is. How about that? Come on. Tying it into Brandon. Tying it into Brandon. Since we're right. so artist development <laughs> management. Three, let's go. <laughs> well, I circle, it, circle it back. I gotta take one of us's uh the term is gonna be uh probably my top one. Um passionate um and optimistic would be for me. Um I think that you have to have pretty much all of those uh qualities in anything that you do to be successful. So is you, you, you gotta be optimistic so that way you know things can kind of kind of go awry, but you can you can get back on track. And that determination is what's gonna push you through. Um, and as long as you got passion, you'll always win. So those would be my three. Got you. Corbin. Um I say we're pretty talented. We're, um, we're a good group. We bounce off each other very well. There'll be times where we're in the studio and I could be like in the booth singing and like they'll just stop it and Wes will come in and say, hey, do this. And then Trey's like, oh, put this in the back. And I'm like, oh, okay, well. <laughs> we them in a whole new direction and it's something crazy. So I say we're very talented. I like to just drive on that. It's been fun just writing over the break, over FaceTime. And then going to the studio for like four hours and completing four songs. It's really been like blowing my mind. I'm like, this is crazy. Like we're moving way too fast, but um, <laughs> it's just been cool. It's been pretty cool. Just very talented. Definitely. All right, Wes, I'm gonna hand it over to you. Um, you have something. So for those of you who've been following us on social media, you know that we, uh, we like to run contests we run contests all the time. We've been running contests with our singles and um, we're currently running contests for the album. So we're gonna do uh, two of the giveaways right now um, for the album, for anyone who downloaded or purchased the album, took a screenshot, posted it and tagged us in it, you are automatically entered into this contest for uh, Visa gift cards. So uh, I, I compiled all the names. I have all the screenshots. Um, so the first winner, congratulations to screen name Adrian1289. Congratulations to you. Yay. Well, that's nice because I'm at his place right now. That's what I've been yelling at. Yes. Oh, is, that's, <laughs> that's very nice. I did not know that at all. <laughs> Adrian, so, congratulations. You've been in the background the whole time. You've been the <laughs> right. mystery person in the back. Adrian, you earned your gift card. He did. He's been looking out for me. Shout out to A. Thank you, for real. <laughs> and then the second winner, shout out to um, HD Chu. Uh, that's Mary Chu. Shout out to you. You are the second winner of the gift card. Thank you. Uh, so reach out to us uh, so we can get your contact information and uh, give you your prize. And then... We're gonna be running two more contests. Um, so look out for the information coming on our social media platforms tomorrow. Cool, cool, cool. Well, Mr. <laughs> West Corbin T3, I want to say thank you guys for letting me uh, be the moderator for you guys and also being your frat brother. 
um, as well. Um, <laughs> right, <laughs> Alpha Man. <laughs> um, but uh, definitely appreciate it. Um, I look forward to all the success and um, continue to kill the game and be you all the way through it, through all the challenges and everything. Um, everybody, it was a great virtual album release. Uh, next album will be somewhere. We're going to speak it already. It's going to yes. be somewhere. We're going to have an event. We're going to have them singing. We're going to have the whole shebang. So uh, thank you guys again um, for this great <clears throat> opportunity. Do you have any last words you guys want to say before we end this? I would say, hey, you know, um, we've got the, the sentiment that you guys love the album. So please continue to play it, stream it. If you got Alexa, have her keep playing it. Keep it all down. My mind's about to start talking. But yeah, definitely keep playing our music. Keep sharing it. We appreciate everything that you guys do. And we, we want to take everybody to the top with us. Corbin. Uh, Corbin, you are great tonight. Like, this is just, this is just great. Corbin, it's like the <laughs> <laughs> I've just been cracking up. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody, family, friends, Mr. West T3, Ramsey U2. Thank you, everybody. This has been a really fun experience. Thank y'all to my friends that I've been calling y'all on y'all nerves, all that. Y'all got me cracking up right now. <laughs> my family, mama, everybody. Yes, I'm that person. <laughs> I'm going to be that guy tonight. But um, <laughs> no, just thank y'all for it, everybody. Uh, like T3 said, keep streaming it, keep listening to it, keep sending it to everybody. Thank y'all to everybody that's already purchased it already. So, you know, just keep doing it, keep playing it, keep sending videos. Those are hilarious. Oh, sending yeah. videos, dancing, singing to it. I really love it. Go on TikTok. Go on TikTok. Yeah. Freaky Freaky can get on TikTok for sure. Yes, that would be good. Uh, or Queen for Life. Or Queen for Life. You know, Ra Ra, -Ra <laughs> is, that's Ryan Bisco. That's the one that did the song with us. Did you catch that T3? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Just thank you, everybody. I'm done. <clears throat> Mr. West. So I want to um, echo the sentiment saying thank you to everybody who has supported us for the last almost two years from the uh, cover songs we were doing, from the voicey videos to now our first debut album. Thank God we made it. Uh, so I want to say thank you guys for every for everything that you've done. Uh, we ask that you continue to support us because we have a lot more coming down the pipeline, coming out to you guys. Um, I also want to give a shout out to um, Marche, uh, Ryan, um, the two features on the album. Um, you guys worked out perfectly. I absolutely love both of those songs. Uh, shout out to our executive produ producer, Beats, Chris Lewis. Uh, we Our sound would not exist without you. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, and like I said, first video for Better Day will be out um, this time next week. And uh, I'll go ahead and say it. we are doing a holiday album. Uh, and the holiday album will drop December 17th. So be looking for all of that stuff. Uh, like I said, we've been working. We got a lot of things coming out and we ask that you guys continue to support us. So definitely thank you for tonight. I do want to echo something real quick because Did you raise your hand. Did you raise your hand? <laughs> One of the people asked about <laughs> merchandise, and I agree. I want merchandise too. Um, You're Mr. wearing Mr. merchandise, Mr. West. Can you can you put something <laughs> formal that we can go and get our merchandise? At some God. Point? So that that's his way of of making me tell y'all this. But our merchandise will officially be available 2021. Uh, shout out to another alpha, our frat brother, John. Um, he made these shirts. What's the stitch? It's his company. So uh, we have shirts, sweatshirts, hats. Uh, we have masks. We have all type of merchandise that'll be coming out. It'll officially be available top of the year. So be on the lookout for those things as well. Oh, also shout out to Jermaine. Faded. Oh, yes. Uh, shout out to Jermaine, my sorry. boy. Uh, shout out to another one of our frat brothers. God, this alpha's everywhere. <laughs> uh Jermaine who put his amazing pin on faded uh we've been asking people all yesterday and today their favorite songs and faded has been like 
top song for a lot of people. Uh, so we were we were very excited to be able to work with you. Um, you fit in perfectly. The song fit the album great. Uh, so shout out to him for that. He's an amazing artist. Shout out to you. He's an amazing producer and songwriter. Uh, and we're looking forward to working with him in the very near future. All right. Well, that's a wrap, you guys. You guys made it through your first virtual album release. <laughs> It's like where the cast like starts throwing the character. <laughs> we take the mics off behind the scenes, and, right? But somebody mics right. Did y'all get champagne? Did y'all get champagne? Look, what's okay. In, what's in, what, look, Corbin, we've been on the same page. What's in here has been blessing my spirit. Amen. Is that why he's been asleep the whole time? No, Cor Who's Corbin. <laughs> I gotta make sure we good. <laughs> I was trying. I was trying, everybody. I was trying. <laughs> All right. Thank y'all. Right, good night, y'all. <laughs>